Astrobot is the definition of a fun video game. It's just a really fun game where it's just a platformer where you just, you know, go around in levels, collecting stuff, collecting coins, collecting uh, artifacts, um, just fun, fun mechanics, you know, and it's just nice to have a game where the gameplay is just simple and it's just nice to have a game where you can just buy it, have, a, you know, a full fun experience and not have to worry about, I guess, just most of the things that come from your standard AAA experience now. One of the points I want to talk about is how Sony is using Astrobot as a way to bring back mascots. Back in the earlier generations of gaming, you know, PS1, PS2, PS3, you know, the Xbox, um, Xbox 360. Those, those consoles did have their mascots. And I feel like Nintendo has been the most consistent when it comes to their mascots. I mean, they've been doing, you know, or they've been promoting their mascots for decades now. Whereas I feel like Sony and, you know, Microsoft have, I guess, just abandoned their mascots into the back just back in the past it's nice to see you know a new face for the console and also there is some nostalgia by referencing by referencing other uh, mascots from the past within the the video game um also it's just a nice the, the video game just has a nice art style you know good to look at <laughs> and i think I feel like a lot of people have been saying how an art style is more important than graphics. Of course, graphics are nice and all. Um, I mean, who doesn't like 4K graphics or realistic graphics? But I feel like there's a place and a time for those kinds of graphics, right? I don't think every game has to you know, be super crisp or you know, have realistic textures. Um, yeah, just, just having an art style that has character and has some uniqueness to it, it just makes the actual experience of playing the game just more memorable, you know? And it's, I feel like if you have an art style that is memorable, it will stick with, um, you know, gamers for a longer time. Uh, for example, if you look at Bloodborne, um, of course, the graphics are not the best. The art style is amazing, and um, you can just, if even if you never played Bloodborne yourself, and you've seen, you know, art from the actual game, you know what the game looks like, and you have a feel for it. That also leads me to talking about how Astrobot takes inspiration from Nintendo. I feel like Nintendo has focused more on just developing or just giving players a more, I guess just a more simpler experience when it comes to gaming rather than focusing on, you know, graphics or hardware power. Their main focus is, their main focus is on how fun their games are and that is the kind of game that Astrobot is. If you were to tell someone that Astrobot <laughs> came from Nintendo, I feel like they would believe you. <laughs> Just remove all the the Sony references and PlayStation references, and <laughs> and you got yourself a Nintendo game right there. Um, but yeah, if if you're tired of the way gaming's been going recently, you know, with all the all the microtransactions and live service games and you know the all the just deluxe editions with you know things like skins and early access which is not really early access it's more just like people who buy the standard <laughs> edition just get the late access um but anyways yeah if you're tired all, of all that i feel like this game is just perfect for is getting you back into having fun with video games. 
Um, if you're around my age, you probably don't have as much time to play video games now. And, you know, it's hard to just immerse yourself into a game and just sit down and have fun for just like an hour or two. Um, but this game, you just jump in, you know, play, you know, however long you want until, you know, you're, you're just satisfied with, a, you know, just a fun experience. And you don't have to worry so much about a story or, you know, focusing on, you know, <laughs> you know, being competitive because I feel like a lot of games are now competitive. Um, you can just sit down, play a level or two, have fun, and just you know pick up the game the next day and continue where you left off. And yeah, if you're looking for a breath of fresh air, I would recommend Astrobot. And yeah, I mean this game just reminds me of you know the simpler days where you know where where you were just a kid sitting in front of your you know <laughs> your box TV, you know put in you know one of the games you had. Um, if you were like me, you probably only had like three games <laughs> at a time, so you would just replay the same game, and you would just spend hours collecting every collectible and you know, finding secrets um, in every level you can. And yeah, I mean, this game, if you're looking for a hit of nostalgia, you'll definitely get that from Astrobot. And it's also crazy <laughs> how both Concord and Astrobot were released by Sony. You know, they release a live service game that dies almost immediately and has pretty much no backing from any fan base. And then they release Astrobot, which looks like one of their more simpler games, and then everyone's raving about it. And it's just, you know, <laughs> crazy to see that the differences between those two games and the reactions that people had from them. Um, but yeah, overall, Hopefully studios can learn from the release of Astrobot and how I feel like gamers are now just looking more for a fun experience rather than a a game that you know is too hyper fixed on the on the delivering a you know a bloated story or mechanics that are too realistic or you know there's there's a lot of things that i feel like gaming it's great to see it advance in the way it has and of course some games have you know what's the word have some games have just derived from the the technological advancements and innovations that gaming has had but i feel like not every game needs to be the most high tech and you know, just not every game has to be the most high tech and realistic experience. There, there is room for just a more simpler, watered down, <laughs> fun experience where where you just sit down, play for an hour or two, and just have fun. Especially since I feel like a lot of us are older now, and we don't have as much time to spend on video games. And yeah, just giving players a game to wind down and, you know, just just have a fun time, you know? Um, so yeah, I think if you are looking for that kind of experience, then I would definitely recommend checking out Astrobot.